Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We're looking at how to use the language experience and the daily journal and some basic tips and uh, ideas. First of all, I'm seeing just a lot of good things happening out there in the classroom and things I'm going to talk about uh, are probably reinforcing of what I see and what you're doing naturally. But first of all, an important thing called time on task or academic learning time. We want students to be engaged all the time. So as soon as they start the session, we want go time, one thing to another. Uh, so we want to have, to the greatest degree possible, the journal headings and everything up and ready to go. Uh, five seconds off task means probably 15 seconds then it takes them to get back on task. So the first thing I, I see and some neat things I do, what do you want to tell us today? I went swimming. I went swimming. So you are restating what the child says and it's important that the child sees you uh, printing it out and and looks at the words as you're printing. Now I have the opportunity to be watching the children's eyeballs and they are looking at the print appearing. We are strengthening neural pathways so they began to make the connection between letters and sounds and letter patterns. What else? Was it fun? It was fun. Where did you go? It was in Mankato. Okay, what else do you want? To do? You get the idea. So you are speaking and do this slowly. I know we want to keep things briskly paced, but it's important that they're able to see the sentence. They then read this through the first time together. I went swimming scaffolded reading, meaning that you keep it moving along just a little ahead of the pace. You don't want them to stop and, and stumble on words. And then they read it through by themselves. So once together, scaffolded or reading, and the second time by themselves or until they can get it uh, to read it fluently. And we want a minimum of five sentences there. By the way, we may want to experiment with going back and reading previous day's journal entries. The second part, the scaffolded writing, is where we want them to write at least two sentences. Now I have a picture that I put up there and the children like the pictures. It keeps them visually engaged. And whether they use the picture to write or not, it doesn't matter. I know at least one or two uses the picture and uh, uses that as a writing cue. Uh, they are in the snow. And again, is it fun? Yes, it is fun. It's important that they see the sentence appearing and they hear you writing as you the sentence appears on the screen. That's why they have that screen in front of you. They should read it over at least twice what they have written once together and then by themselves. And in all cases, we don't want to, we want to keep that sentence up there for a second or two so that they can look at it. Don't be in a hurry to rush on to the next thing. I know we have things uh, three to five minutes each in this uh, uh, type of intervention, but we do want them to notice letters and letter patterns. This is an authentic writing experience. It's one of the best ways for them to develop phonetic knowledge to get a sense of letter and sounds and letter patterns. Again, this is called the language experience approach where they dictate and then you write. And I'm noticing some very interesting things. They're much more uh, able and willing to tell you and this personal connection that I see to talk about their lives. And the first thing, you know, they want to tell you about what they did. This is an emotional connection and this is an important part of what we're doing. The same with this writing. The first time, you know, they were they were uh, very hesitant to write. I see them now much more comfortable, much more confident, and I absolutely love the conversations I see taking place around writing. All right, that's a sentence. So that's one complete idea. We need to have a period then, don't we? That's the type of incidental instruction that is very powerful. And we're using scaffolded writing, meaning that as they are writing, it is fun. We're repeating it, it, it is, it is. 
So, so the short-term memory doesn't have to hold words and sounds. So we're repeating the, the sentence over as they're writing, and we're sounding out the individual words as they're writing. And on the keyboard, I am helping them. I'm pointing to where the I is and the T is, and I'm not pressing the keys for them. It's interesting to notice some of them are hunching over the keyboard because they want to do it themselves. This is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. It is is fun. And I'm just kind of pointing to where the F is. I put my finger on top of where the letter is. And I, this is called scaffolding. They're engaging in authentic writing processes, but I don't want them to, I want them to be as, uh, uh, I don't want them to become frustrated. It needs to be as easy as possible. So we provide that scaffold to enable them to engage in authentic literacy experiences to the greatest degree possible. All right, I'll be talking about some other stuff, but there you have it. This is just the journal part, which is very, very important.